Good morning and welcome to the Festival of Media Global 2018. It is wonderful to be back here in Rome. I hope you are as pumped as me. A man who's had probably two hours sleep a night for the last seven days. I will tell you more about that later. But welcome. It's wonderful to see you in our palace. I hope you agree that this stage is something different for you and allows me to run up and down. At some point this evening, I may even slide on my knees across the top here. But welcome, everybody. A few housekeeping rules to start with. Just to say thank you very much for your appearing here and getting here only 10 minutes late which is very, very exciting. Trust me, when we do this event in Miami, we're about 40 minutes behind schedule at the start, so this is a good start. Well done. You can give yourself a round of applause. Let's get everyone working. Okay. So, I hope, if any of you do have a hangover, you're sitting quietly in the corner, drinking some juice or some water. There were a lot of dinners last night. There were a lot of late texts. Someone on my team got in at 3 a.m., so I'm expecting he was entertaining a few of you clients. So, hopefully that was the case. Thank you to all of our sponsors for helping make this possible. And I hope by the end of the two days, you will have realized what a great boutique conference and event this really is. We've tried to shape everything and redesign and rechange, as you can see with this stage. I'm going to continue to spin because this floor is nice and slippy for me. So I hope that people don't fall over. So just to begin, if you haven't already downloaded the app, I know how much you all love a social media app and platform, make sure you are on the Wi-Fi, which is the network H honors, and it is FOM Global 18 for the password. You can easily download the app. I'm not going to tell you how to do it because I'm hoping at this point in your careers you all know how to download apps. But it is very important you use this because there is no printed agenda. So any changes, any little secret activations that are happening across the two days, you need this app. So make sure you're logged in. We've got some notifications going out just to tell you what is happening. So before we start and bring up our first speaker, I thought I'd set the scene, if you like, for what we're trying to achieve over the next two days. We've had two days of judging, so there's a few people in this room now who are actually on their third day of this conference. So people arrived here on Saturday to judge some amazing work, of which it will all be revealed winners and losers this evening at the Festival of the Media Global 18 Awards. But they've spent two days locked in a room while the sun has been shining. So a big round of applause to our judges. If there's any in here, put your hands up. Well done, guys. Okay. So, as with everything, the world is moving at a very fast pace. So it has been a complete year of change. I'm expecting some ooh or boos on this next slide. So this man, he thought he ran Hollywood. He thought he ran part of the world. He turned out to be a filthy little scumbag, which is very interesting because what it's done is opened up a world where people will now start to respect one another. People will start to understand the pain that other people have gone through. People are now being brave and talking about the issues they have. So hence the reason for the punchy Harvey Weinstein. North Korea and South Korea, who would have thought the longest running battle in the world would have ended only a few weeks ago? Anthony Joshua, I had to put a sports analogy in here somewhere, now the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, hopefully soon to have all five belts, which will be the only man in history to do that. Oops. Martin Sorrell has left, I'm sure you all know that, WPP. He has left, so is there a new era of what happens to agencies and the networks now? It's all starting to move, the whole world is moving. And again, publicists, they pulled out of um, awards, they pulled out of conferences last year to focus on AI, so the world is a changing. Twitter made a profit for the first time in 12 years. My goodness, the world really is changing. NME, a UK reference here. This was the final print issue. Uh, unfortunately, I used to read this magazine a lot when I was a child, but it continuing the, the decline of some of the print titles we've seen out there. And then in my personal life, I've gone from two to three. So there's been a lot of change in the last, um, in the last year. Hence the reason my sleep is a, a, little, uh, a little light. So excuse me if I feel like the adrenaline is pumping out. But all of this, we're attempting to keep pace with all of this in media, and crucially, how many of you are trying to keep pace with what is going. So over the next few days, we want to understand how we keep a pace, how we capture the imagination of our consumers, how we capture the imagination of our clients. So for us, this whole conference is about being fearless, being brave, and being bold. And our friends here from the Marketing Society have been pushing out the mantra of being bold, and we certainly want to be bold, and I think you'll find over the course of the two days, the conversations we have here are very different. There's something that you wouldn't normally expect at a media conversation and a media conference. And one thing that's come to fruition this year, we've really, over the last four years, we've been working very, very hard to 
create an event that focuses around the wants and needs of advertisers. And not only that, has an inclusive feel to it. So I feel like after four years, that plan has started to come to fruition. Yesterday and the day before, we had judging panels which represented all corners of the world, which represented all diversities, all races. And then over the agenda for the next two days, we've gone from something like in four years ago, 15% female speakers to around 55 to 58% over the next two days, which is really, really exciting. Thank you, that was a good clap, I like that, that's good. Yes. And then to give you a flavor of some of the speakers we've got, I haven't put names and I didn't want to embarrass them, but they will see their pictures here as they fly up. This is a, 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 an example of some of the people we've got. We've got some heavy hitters. We've got people from outside of the industry. We want to inspire, educate, and celebrate excellence. This is not a witch hunt against anyone within the industry. It's about learning. It's about being inspired, and it's understanding what we are as media and defining and repurposing what media is all about. And as you can see, we've complemented that by a really experiential and engaging festival in terms of format. You think this room is cool, wait till you see the other three rooms. So we start here, we've got four sessions on here this morning, including a secret break, morning break session in here with someone who is uh, going to be speaking here, who's only speaking at this platform in the entire world this year. So that's very exciting. So you will see the rooms after the morning break and you can choose which content you want to work in and out of.